Okay, so our favorite, the Johns Hopkins dashboard. <laughs> what do we see here? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is, look at this. Remember when the non-China cases were less than the China cases? Uh, that has, those days are over. And we crossed over on March 15th, so about a week ago. Uh, now, there are people who are making the case that, uh, that they don't believe the China numbers. Um, well, let's put it this way. Even if China is underreporting, that yellow line is still steep as all heck. So, I mean, whether or not we're more than or less than China in some ways almost doesn't matter. This yellow line is growing. I mean, look at this. From March 15th. 81,000 uh, cases to a week later, 235,000. I mean, shoot, if this were a stock, you would be super excited, but this is not. This is uh, the opposite. So uh, the total recovered line is growing, um, but you know, there's 235,000 tested cases and only 94,000 recoveries. So Hopefully that yellow line will come down. Some people are saying uh, it'll hit its peak in the U.S. I think Governor Cuomo was saying in about six weeks. So that that uh, that would be, um, I guess, early early May. Um, but yeah, that's uh, disturbing. And then if you look at well, what countries? Uh, are being affected. It's more like what countries aren't being affected. Um, you, you remember when it was just like mostly Asia? Yeah, those 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 days are over. Whoa, over zooming. Hold on, easy there. Touchpad. Okay. So obviously China's full of cases, but you have Southeast Asia. Australia, Sydney has six deaths, uh, 533 confirmed cases. And then if you look, wow, look, even the Middle East used to be Iran was the big one. But now uh, you can see it's everywhere, including Iraq, Turkey, Saudi Arabia. I mean, I was I was uh, not too long ago uh, visiting uh, Jordan, and uh, that was just a few weeks ago. So crazy how uh, now Israel has eight hundred eighty three confirmed cases, um, one death. Now, if you look at uh, let's go okay Europe. I mean, Italy is just nuts with 4,800 deaths. Okay, so a couple things. One is you've got 53,000 confirmed cases and almost 5,000 deaths. So let's hope that they're not testing enough people and uh, because if that were really the ratio, that would be a, a close to 10% fatal fatality rate, which would not be good. And then here, streaming to you right now, I'm in Switzerland. And um, the thing with Switzerland is that shares a border with Italy. And every day, there were about 70,000 Italians that would come in to Switzerland, um, you know, often to provide uh, day labor. And um, they clearly brought with them the COVID. Some of them did. And now in Switzerland, we have 7,000 cases and almost 100 deaths, which is uh, quite nuts. France, uh, 500 deaths. Spain, almost 2,000 deaths. I mean, this, this thing is getting out of control big time. And then let's go to America. In the U.S., it used to be just sort of like the big uh, coastal cities like Seattle, 
with uh, almost 100 deaths. Um, all of California has had 28 deaths. San Fran. Oh, that's the Grand Princess. That's just one boat. That's nuts. Okay. Um, and then New York has had almost 100 deaths now, 76, and 12,000 cases. And then Miami, uh, over 10, 13 deaths now. So that's the geographic look. It's basically everywhere. But I think the most disturbing chart is probably this one, where that yellow line, if you look at this, uh, this chart, but for daily cases, the red bars uh, represent uh, newly reported cases. And as you can see, uh, that red bar is, um, is growing. I mean, the last bar is lower than the one before it, but it seems like this, uh, this, well, let's be fair. It may be already spread and we're just catching up with testing. So I guess that's the bright side. It may not be really spreading more. It may just be we're getting more aware that it's, you know, may not be a, um, a Democrat hoax after all. But um, so that's that data. And I know, guys, like, let's just keep it real. I know I'm making some remarks about the Democrat hoax and how, you know, this is not the flu. And I know there's probably some Republicans out there saying like, hey, man, this nerds for hum humanity. Don't be like so partisan. But I'm very disappointed in, in the president's leadership uh, for, for the first few weeks of, of uh, Feb, pretty much all of Feb and early March. Basically, until last week, he really was more focused on how he looked, in my opinion. And then he appointed Pence to lead the task force, which, uh, you know. Um, so now if you look at where the deaths are, there are more deaths in Italy, 4,800, than there are in Hubei province where, you know, this thing started in Wuhan. So that's kind of nuts. Um, you got to wonder, like I, I've i listened to interviews with doctors in Italy where they're talking about uh, the reality of having to triage um, critical care beds and ventilators and make um, decisions about you know, do you give it to the 70 year old grandma or the 45 year old father of two or even the 20 year old? 